Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306. It's time for another review. We're looking at another writing tablet. So after my past, uh, the last video that I did on the, um, the colorful little blue one, uh, I was actually contacted by yet another company that makes um, various writing tablets. And the company's uh, called New Yes, I believe. Um, and I'll link them down below. And they asked me, do you want to review another writing tablet? And I was a little bit hesitant at first because I already re reviewed like two of them already and there's not that much different. And then I saw one of their product listing pages and it had a feature that I think is critical um, that all the other ones I reviewed so far are missing and it would make it a lot more useful. I'm not going to ruin it just yet, but um, we're actually going to pop this open. Okay, it appears that there is another bag inside the bag. We shall open this one and hopefully there won't be another bag. In okay. Yeah. And within that is some bubble wrap and finally the actual writing pad itself. And this is a 12 inch version. And most importantly, it has partial delect. I, I guess they mean partial delete. So basically the gimmick of this, and it's not really a gimmick, it's actually something that I legitimately wanted on every other writing pad I've ever tried. Um, you can actually er do partial erases, and it work. It works exactly like you think it would. You, you press a button, and um, you just draw over the area that you drew over before, and it erases it. So I'm assuming that's how it works. I've never used this before, so we're going to test this out right now. Um, so other than that, yeah, pretty much... I don't see anything different other than the huge ability to erase stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, just some parameters about the size of the screen, etc. This is a 2025. Um, would have been nice to see a 2032 with a little more battery life, but these don't suck that much power. Comes with a... Wow. Oh, this holds the uh, pen on. It's a little springy thing. That's, that's pretty cool. So... As always, they come in this uh, protective film, and we can see, yep, New Yes is the company name. A, uh, ironically enough, their mission is to make the world paperless, um, and it's printed on a piece of paper. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I just find that funny. Anyway, yeah, um, and it does have a lock switch as well, so I like that as well. Let's. So how, how do we uh, erase? Twice touch deletion partial. Oh, so here. Let's just pull the pen out. There we go. Obviously, I can write just like normal. And it's saying, um, okay, you have to hit it twice to erase. If you just hit it once, it won't. And it times out. So you have to do a double click. Ah, and there's a little LED there actually uh, blinks that's cool okay that's how they're implementing the uh, the lockout um, so if you just accidentally hit it once nothing happens you have to double click so let's try um, I'll just draw oops I accidentally made a mistake so I guess you press and hold this That's interesting. Okay. So it's definitely not perfect. You can see it leaves. Actually, that, that's not bad at all. But um, when it's blinking, it's in erase mode. And then when you press it again, it'll double blink quickly. And I believe it should shut off or something. There we go. Now it's in uh, draw mode. So now I can just draw a six there. Oh, that's a that's a really crappy six. Anyway, uh, yeah. So overall, I think this is actually really neat. Yeah, you can still see like almost like a remnant of um of where you wrote, but other than that, just being able to erase stuff definitely helps. Erase it there. Just do a scribble. Show you guys. Hopefully, the lighting's sufficient. Sun's starting to go down, so yeah. So I scribbled there. Click this. Yeah, 
it smudges. It looks like it smudges. It's almost like um, those pens that we used to have that um, they were erasable pens. And they always left like a little bit. If it, it was, they were blue pens. I remember using them. I think they were paper mate. Um, you could actually erase the pen marks, but it always like smudged a little bit and left a little bit of a blue smudge mark. Oh, it does time out eventually. But yeah, you just go over it enough. You can still see it. So it's it's not gonna perfectly erase it exactly without erasing the whole screen. Oh, okay, so. It can last up to 30 seconds. You can erase. Um, if you want to erase the contents with less strength. Okay, so you can change, like, you can do shading almost. That's interesting. Okay, so it's saying once you're in this mode, you can just press the delete button to get out of it. Uh, okay, so here, so if we just draw something, can get into this mode it'll blink once we can kind of faintly erase I guess press it again then it double blinked now it's double blinking it's saying that um, you can erase it at a different strength I guess not really noticing that much of a difference now it says uh, it's three blinks Oh, oh, I see. So that's what's going on. The reason why it wasn't erasing that greatly is because I was uh, erasing on like level one. Level three, it completely disappears. Like I can't even see that anymore. Okay, so there are three levels of... Um... So here, let's just set up a quick test. This will be one, two, and three. Okay, so we're in one now. I'll just do half of it. You can still faintly see the image. Now I'm in two. You can still see a little bit, but it is quite a bit less visible. Now if we put it into three, Seems that um, kind of the longer you're in this mode, the contrast decreases a little bit. So yes, it does fade it. It basically obliterates anything. But um, yeah, after you get out, you can see the um, contrast has decreased. So the longer you're in that erase mode, I guess it'll um, wear away. It must do something with the biasing of the um, like the the material it's almost like a liquid crystal or something like that um but yeah that's actually pretty interesting yeah just a quick test of that there we go and double click and it erases okay just to give you a little bit of a better look so you can see if i go into erase one there's a little bit of a flicker i notice it dims a little bit if i go to erase two it dims a little more I go to erase three, it dims even more, and you can see it flickering, and it's a little bit visible in real life too. If we exit back out by hitting erase, it actually increases the contrast again a little bit, so it's doing something funky with the uh, drive signals. So that's actually pretty interesting, but yeah, it did um, decrease the contrast a little bit, even from originally, so every time you do that partial erase, it makes it a little bit less contrasty. Anyway. Yeah, so all in all, um, this is actually going to be pretty pretty useful to be able to erase stuff. On the um, the other panels I've been using, um, basically if I messed up something, I would just like cross it out and write it above it, um, which is fine and all. But uh, yeah, you can see it just dimmed right there. Yeah, I would say you should, if you're going to be using the erase feature, it dims it quite a bit. And the contrast isn't amazing to begin with. So I would just suggest leaving it in mode one. 
that's good enough. You can easily write over that and you can legibly see. Um, but yeah, if we just stick this in mode 3, the entire contrast of the entire screen decreases. You can see there. Even though it erases it really well, it sort of over-biases it. Uh, but at least they give you the option. Um, so yeah, anyway, it's actually pretty neat. So let's just see the rest of the design. Oh, there is a, a physical button as well. So you have two modes of protection. One is requiring a double click on the uh, trash can button to erase the entire screen. The other one you can actually just straight up, um, I'm guessing this like disconnects the battery or something. So you can still, oops, wrong end. <laughs> you can still write and um, obviously none of the buttons work anymore. So we put that back in and yeah, so I'm actually liking this quite a bit. Pretty cool. So yeah, anyway, uh, huge thanks to uh, New Yes for sending this in for a review. Um, yeah, I, I really want to see what the future of these writing pads are, um, what improvements they can add. Sort of, I mean, this tech has been around for a little while. Um, I remember seeing this, something similar to this, like the boogie boards um, at Staples years and years ago. They were quite a bit more expensive and they were pretty small. They were only like less than 10 inches, something like that, maybe 8 inches. Uh, but now it's dirt cheap, and so it's actually really cool to see the advancements. They make another model that's actually entirely clear. You could see through it, and um, that one doesn't have partial erase, so. Uh, but sort of neat stuff. You can put that over something and trace. Um, so if you're drawing, you can use that to, to trace out an outline or something. So there's all these really cool things that they're doing. Um, definitely um, always useful to have writing pads in general, I think, Um I, at least I use them a lot at work and at home as well. Anyway, yeah, if you guys are interested, uh, links will be down below to their website, their sales page. Um, you might want to also check out some of their other, uh, other products and whatnot. They make, um, I believe, pads that are even you know quite a bit larger than this. They make um, the ones that are kind of translucent that you can see through. They make these erased ones. That's really cool. So, yeah, I'm pretty impressed by this. And it comes with this handy-dandy uh, thing so you don't lose a pen. It is interesting to note um, the nib on this pen. The other ones that I've used, the uh, nib on the end part of the the pen part is the same material. This one, they actually, it looks like um, they use nylon. Um, so a little bit softer of a material so that you don't risk actually scratching the surface of the screen. So kudos on them for um, thinking a little bit ahead of time of reliability and whatnot. We'll have to see um, how long the battery lasts on this thing. But yeah, I can definitely see me using this more um, than the other pads now because that was sort of an annoyance if you made a mistake. You had to kind of cross stuff out and and um, just it changes everything, being able to erase, partial erase, even if it's not perfect, as long as it's legible enough that you can see and right over that area. I'm happy with that. So yeah, anyway, I'll put up links as I said, and hopefully you guys aren't getting too um, bored of these random reviews. I try to spread them out with other videos in between, but anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know actually what features you would like to see added to these types of um, writing boards. Um, I know a common one is some digital way of transferring the data like via Bluetooth or something. Um, that would be pretty neat. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think would be really cool. Maybe having like different colors or something. Well, by then we're basically going to like an actual tablet territory, like a tablet computer. So I actually read some of this. I, I skimmed this during the review and whatnot, but there's actually some really interesting information and I appreciate that they put this in here. Um, so they actually explain how the uh, display works and it is apparently a liquid crystal display um, they say they adjust the voltage of PCBA I'm guessing that's one the anode or something like that uh, one side of the contacts um, they generate 32 volts apparently you know the coin cell stepped up to 32 volts to drive it I did not know that that's that's fascinating um, and it says it, it biases it to make it unstable um, so that they can erase it um, and during this period, 
uh, you'll find that the writing contents will become lighter and it's normal. So yeah, I did observe that um, the stronger you put the erase function on, the dimmer the entire screen got. Not really dimmer, but the contrast decreased and it became lighter. So yeah, I did notice that. So that is kind of a limitation of the way that they're using to bias it, but that's still pretty cool. I did not expect them to actually say what was in the, the secret sauce, how it exactly worked. That is really cool. Also mention that it flickers when you erase it, it won't harm your eyes, so please notice it. Anyway, yeah, that's really cool. I appreciate that they added um, a little bit of technical information in there. But yeah, anyway, um, put your comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.